In past months, our cameras have traveled the state of Missouri to record on film of Benton's five previous murals done for his native state. As you examine each, it's easy to follow the growth of his towering artistic talent over the years, which has culminated in his last major work. We've also discussed with the artist personally the highlights of his illustrious career. This is the story of Thomas Hart Benton and the Joplin mural. And for the first time in any of his murals, Benton has portrayed himself as a youth. I asked him why. People ask me to. Ray Curtis and uh, Henry Wharton and uh, several others said, if you're going to paint that, paint yourself in the House of Lords like you told about. Well, uh, I made an effort at that and thought of it for a while, and then I said, no, I don't want to to put on the walls of the municipal building. <laughs> but then we would have controversy. <laughs> when the frame was completed, which is no small task in itself, Benton applied a special Belgian linen surface to the face and secured the material with a polyester adhesive. The linen was then coated with a liquid latex base to prepare it for the paints. Unlike his other murals, this Joplin work contains many very personal touches. Again, following his practice of using live models for his sketches and finished work, Benton sketched the well-known Joplin realtor, Rolla Stevens. In the completed mural, Stevens portrays a poker-dealing gambler in a derby hat, the type of character Benton well remembers from his early Joplin days. Now, all I can hope, uh, hope for now that my story is told, of course, this is not all of Joplin. It's uh, what I thought was appropriate itself. Uh, what I'm looking for now, or uh, hoping for, is the approval of the people of Joplin when they see the thing. They've got it now. <laughs>